Todd Rand, and welcome everyone to the Global Guided Meditation Call for Monday, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, August 20th, 2018. Something for us to think about. And this is, an, this is, this is an interesting twist for a lot of people because when we are seeking, I guess you could say, seeking love, wanting love, um, it actually is not what you want. Love is not what you want. It is what you really are. So we are love. Isn't it interesting that we've gotten things so confused that we, we want love, but in reality, we are love. And you see how the separation is there with ourselves. You see how all of us are, we, we kind of separate. We don't, under, we, we don't comprehend that because I guarantee you, if humanity were to comprehend that across the board, that love is not what you want, it, it is what you are. And it's important not to get that confused and if humanity gets that straightened out, we have, we have achieved our goal of total peace and prosperity and love and kindness, generosity, and working together uh, for a common good. You know, it's interesting that you know, a lot of people wonder why. Um, now think about this. Why don't the, those in hollow earth come up and, you know, interact with us and talk with us and spend time with us? Well, now I'll ask every one of you a question. If you were a advanced society, civilization, and you were peaceful, you didn't have, you didn't even fight, kill each other and inject drugs and, and you know, pollute, do all kinds of stuff like, like the human race does on the surface. And how violent, you know, and if you watched through thousands and thousands of years how violent the human race was. Now, would you dare to interact with them on, on, a, on a large scale, maybe intermittently select individuals, which, which goes on, but on a large scale, no. We wouldn't do that. If, if, if the shoe was on the other foot. And that tells you something, that the perspective or the attitude of humanity is that they, they, they attack or destroy whatever they don't understand. See? That's pretty much the case uh, on the majority. Not everybody, because, you know, that, that, that side's growing, but still a minority. So when we look at that, and we realize that, what can we do? What we're doing right now is we're transitioning. Our efforts are impacting the human civilization. They're literally impacting it. And as we continue to grow, because there's new people coming on every day, referred, uh, finding out about it, listening to, vid uh, listening to audios, videos, so on and so forth, word of mouth, you, you start to realize that eventually we are going to accomplish something that's never been done before, and that will be three million of us all together in one place, uh, all connected in one massive meditation. And not only will that meditation be at one time, but we will be there for more than one day. We will be three million for three days for the planet. And, you know, that's the, that's the ultimate goal. And we will eventually accomplish that. But today, right now, Understanding the difference between wanting love and understanding that that is what you are, you're very, you, you are love. 
And that's what people do. They go searching for love. And they go all over the place. They're everywhere. They're looking for it. They find it. And, imagine, and I know you know people that have done this. They keep looking and looking and looking and say, am I ever going to find love? And what happens is, is that you, you, now think about this, you can't give love in order to get it. So that's like saying you, you do not, you don't have it. So you give love because you have it to give. And you, ha you, you, you give love because you have it to give. You are love, so you give love. You don't look for love. And it's important to understand that. It's part of organizing and getting things in line in your mind and in your heart. Your heart, remember, is the major energy center of, of your existence, not the brain, the heart. And I like to, to reemphasize that on occasion. And you give love because you have it. Understand that. You are love. So whenever you give love, that's what you are. So part of you, you know, it's your, that's what you're made up of. It's phenomenal. You, you, you experience your own possession of it. See? Once you know this, once you feel it, you know it, you see it, that that's what you really are, your love. Now think about that, that you are love. And that's what our meditation is. We are love. A we are love meditation. And since it's all that there really is, look at how they try to twist. When I say they, we know who, who I'm talking about. But look at how they try to twist everything. Okay? Convincing you that you're not love. Okay? So that you get angry and aggressive and hateful and destructive and manipulative and deceptive and, uh, and depressed. All of those things. All of them. And all along, missing yourself in the process of understanding that you, all of you, is love. Okay? Now, how could we have all the conflict that we've had in, in our civilization, all the destruction, all of the deceit, all of the lies, all of this stuff, how can we have that if we're pure love, if we're love? Okay? So, when you start identifying, watch what happens because after today you will start, it will clarify for you. And it will spring for you that we are love. All of us. All that, once that comes together, we'll be able to move mountains. We'll be able to create and change all of this nastiness that we've allowed those that are in the dark do. Period. Harming another is not love. You are love. Now think about that. Harming another is not love. So those of the dark have abandoned that. Doesn't mean that all of them can't, you know, some of them, some of them recognize and start understanding and, and get cleansed and cleared uh, and then come into the light. But we are love, you know. We are love, meditation. So, if you will, go to your place of relaxation. If you aren't already there, find.
find a place in your life where you were totally relaxed and relive it or create one for yourself. And as you're doing this, you want to begin breathing. You want to breathe in three to six times. You want to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And then you want to exhale. And as you're breathing in, you're breathing in divine positive energy. And, and this is pure love, pure love energy as you are love energy. Pure, positive, reinforcing, kindness, uh, bliss, happiness, joy, uh, prosperity, abundance. All of this is flowing in as you breathe in. As you breathe out, it's anything that weights you down, anything that you have visited, that you have confronted and looked at and said, I don't need this, and let it go, and it'll be gone. So as you're breathing in, remember that and feel it through your heart center. Feel that energy coming in and saturating you from head to toe. Feel it. Power. Because you are powerful. Each and every one of us are powerful. Love transforms it all. Cannot be beaten. Cannot be beaten. That's what Prime Source Creator God is, Mother Father God. That's pure love, eternal love. So as we move slowly and peacefully, we then go in through our heart center we flow deeper and deeper. As we go deeper and deeper, we come into an area that is golden white, pink light, purple transfusing flames swirling around us and above us. And it's, you, you feel this deep peace. And as you see the reflection and the beauty, it puts you at ease. And it is eternal love that comes at you and reflects off of you and saturates you from Prime Source Creator God. So, you're feeling this, enjoying it, you're peaceful, you're love. And at this point, we see our higher self. We immediately join our higher self, become one with our God self, and we're all in communication with our higher selves. We then call in all the light spirits, all the light beings from this solar system, from inside Earth, from above Earth. We call upon all the light beings in the galaxy and in the universes to join us in this meditation. All of love and from love. We call upon the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim. We call upon the ascended masters. We call upon inner and hollow Earth. We call upon all of the loved ones who have passed over. We call upon the fairies and the sprites. And all of them are invited of love and from love as they all flow in and join us. We all join arm in arm, hand in hand, and we all come together and we begin to float up above the planet. We literally are encased immediately in perfect spheres, bubbles of golden white pink light, purple transmuting flame of eternal love from prime source creator God, mother, father God, totally encased, cannot be penetrated only by eternal love. So as we look up, we see our meditative sphere, which houses all of our meditations running in perpetual motion, golden white pink light, purple transmuting flame, we feel its warm vibration. We then begin to feel the rain coming down over our crown, over our head, our, our crown chakra saturating us from head to toe, a warm, and as it touches us, it transforms us. It, it, we immediately know that we are confirmed and verified within our existence that we are pure love. We are love, and it saturates us, and we become this bright ball of light. And then we, we transform and send this, this energy to all of humanity, all the inhabitants of planet Earth. And this, this beautiful light saturates all of them, and it literally communicates with their higher selves, their God sparks, and literally generating and lifting them all up in vibrational frequencies because as we have identified that we are love, 
our vibrational frequencies literally accelerate and lift us all up. So this communication of understanding and comprehending that we are love, that's what we are. The reason we can give love is because we are love. So just picture that in your heart center. See it. Live it. Not just this time, but from this day forward. I'll join you in the meditation. I'll be back to close this out.
the, the peace and the quiet and the acceptance and the shift by absolutely understanding that you are love. Doesn't matter, you know, people get this confused, doesn't matter what you've done, doesn't matter uh, in, in the physical form, uh, the, you know, any mistakes or uh, aggressions through your life, whatever, thoughts, feelings, you are love. And when you completely absorb and understand that, just imagine, okay, now it doesn't mean that the people that you're that are around you have figured that out okay but you have figured it out you know what you are now your love and when you really delve into the love you understand that how things are so distorted that we are all love but look at the things that they've tried to get us to do on this planet and that's why it's so imperative that humanity understands and wakes up to the fact that they are love. Each and every one of them. And that collectively, working together, imagine what we can do, what we're going to do. It's, it's stellar. It's phenomenal. It's expansive. Uh, so we, we invite that. Uh, and as we, and through our travels, as we correct the wrongs on this planet, as we heal and fortify and wash it over with love and become, take our, 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 our places where we should be in this universe, our places of love. We are love. So we're going to do, uh, you might want to be thinking about this. And they say the only way to do it is to have people um, send, you know, every, everybody has somebody that's sick or dying. And so we're going to do a, a healing meditation for those people that are, you know, stage four cancer, um, different ailments, uh, problems that, uh, you know, are going on with them. And I can't think of a better way than to share our love, as we are love, to these people who are suffering. And uh, they, they just send an email uh, and identify who it is that you want this energy to go to. And we will all collectively meditate. And what I will do, and I can't, you know, obviously if I had 5,000 names, uh, I wouldn't be able to get through them all. So, you know, we, as we meditate, I will silently read through the names um, as we're meditating for them. So I'll lay out our, uh, the way we will meditate on it and how we will send our healing love and, and how it will saturate these people and help. So uh, we're going to do that. The call that I'm doing Wednesday is going to talk about what we have available now that will reverse aging, that will heal the body, what we have that's available now to us, okay? And just, it doesn't mean the med bed yet. It doesn't mean the replicators, but there are things that have surfaced uh, that can do these things. And we want to we, we discuss those. Those are all the uh, reverse aging applications that we can discuss and talk about and ask and have Q&A. We're going to talk about the replicators. We're going to talk about the med beds again. We're going to go over those so that everybody's clear on that particular technology, that particular med bed. We're going to go over anti-gravitic drive, we're going to go, out, go over plasma generation energy, and we're going to go over all of that. We're going to go over the energy ring and the energy box and all of these things so that people can start acclimating and start thinking about them because they're coming. So why not talk about them openly 
uh, so that we can understand them better and invite them into our lives in and, and a respectful way. So uh, well, th that's what that call is going to be about. It's going to be about uh, we're going to cover the uh, discrepancies and different storylines uh, about humanity. We're going to cover um, why, why things have not accelerated or progressed as fast as we, as we would like them to based upon the limited knowledge that you have. So they're going to kind of give you a format, cover that, so that it hopefully, because I have a lot of people write in and want different questions answered, and some of them are pretty darn valid. We will do our best to cover those. So that call will be Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this line. And, you know, I, I wish for everyone, sincerely, that you are uh, clear and awake now of you, who you are. You are pure love. And the only acknowledging that you are pure love, you start to begin to understand that then you can give love because you are love. So whoever you look at, wherever you send it, you literally are sending your energy, your love towards uh, these other people, family members, whoever, your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. So understand that and absorb and receive, receive the love that is coming to you now. It's a constant stream of love coming to you now from the, from the great creator, from source creation, from mother, father, mother, God, from prime source creator, God. It's flowing to you continuously. So you have this all the time, but if you ignore it, you never know it. You don't benefit from it because you've severed that. So open that, open it up. Open the windows and the doors up and let it just come in and let it breeze through you and saturate you and lift you up and energize you. You'd be amazed what that will do for you in the course of the day, into the evening, and tomorrow when we meet again. So it'll open up. Once you start understanding this, wonderful things start coming into your life. Abundance, prosperity, good, wonderful health. You just, happiness, joy, and bliss, these things are natural for us. We shouldn't be intermittent. So anyway, I wish everybody a wonderful, blissful, happy, joyous day. And we will be back here at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday, on August 21st, 2018.